Hey guys, so I just got Starlink internet. I'm in a rural area where high speed is not available. So I've tried and tried and tried over the years. I've lived here for about four or five years. My internet currently is uh, radio transmitted. You can also get um, satellite for very expensive. That's very high latency. And the providers where I'm at, I think you have to pay a, a huge amount up front or buy it annually. I can't remember. Um, but it was never worth me getting. So I had gotten the other option I had is, is line of sight radio. So that satellite dish there was, was there when I moved in. It's like dish network or something. Um, I don't, I haven't had cable in a decade. I just watch everything on the internet, probably f at least 50% of it YouTube. So the one below it is the radio transmitter. And that's pointing to that mountain right there where there's a tower, line of sight radio. And of course, they're just, re, you know, reselling CenturyLink or, you know, a fiber provider. They're just uh, creating the connection. Um, I average two to three megabytes a second download and a half a meg up, which is pretty awful. The last couple of videos that I've uploaded, um, the 25 minute video took me eight hours to upload. And I th think one that was a little shorter when my internet was a little happier, um, was four and a half to five hours. So this should make a huge difference. I finally got the, um, Starlink. I went to their website to see if I qualify for their beta program. You have to have you have to be in a spot where you don't have access to high speed. I don't know where all at in the country they're offering it, um, or around the world for that matter, if it's even available outside the U.S. But the took about three or four weeks to get a response back from them. I was approved. I paid five hundred and fifty dollars for this. You pay five hundred dollars for the equipment, fifty dollars for shipping. Um, well, forty nine. So my total was. 549 and then I got the shipment very quickly thereafter um, took less than a week to come in the mail I think four days and it comes in a this isn't you know gonna be in-depth tutorial about how it's hooked up but basically you just get a box um, the satellite dish everything's almost pre-configured and, in, and plugged in and installed so basically you pull out the satellite dish has push buttons here you pop it onto this and you just make sure that you have a clear obstruction of the sky, run it into your home. And I would recommend, depending upon where you're at, using their app to, to see if you can check for obstructions. And it shows you like a radius in the sky that's ideal. Um, I didn't do that. I had a much nicer setup than this. This is just uh, temporary because it had to get where it had to get in order for me to use it. So quick option, but I did build a platform over there right by these. I thought that a southern um, view, because that's what I'm used to my entire life, that a southern view would give me connectivity. And I missed that step of using their app or checking for obstructions. And it kept wanting to auto point at my house. And I didn't have internet. And I had wired it all nicely and did all of that. It was... Um, Kind of a pain in the butt that I had to pull everything out, all the wire back out, which I had all the excess wire in my house, and then run it out here and and slap it up on top of this pole. But it's working really good for now. Um, I'm getting speeds. I got the highest I got was 170 megabytes per second download. Um, I think I average um, 100, and my upload speed is anywhere from 16 to 25. And the latency, I've been getting like 36 to 44 seconds, which is really good for the stuff that I'm used to. Um, so yeah, very exciting to be able to test. And I'm going to actually test by uploading this video and just see exactly how long it takes me. But I will bring you in. Um, once I have a chance to edit it, I'll be uploading it. There's my, there's my view from outside. Going to that wonderful Norfolk, Norfolk Island pine. 
Oh, and I will update you really quick on the ficus cuttings. It's been, I think, one week, and the ones in water are starting to root. And they haven't lost any leaves. And then the ones in the greenhouse... They're done in dirt, so I won't be able to see if they are rooting, but they are. They haven't lost any leaves, and everything looks nice and green, and there's even new growth. I'll have to take down my Christmas decorations. You know, the this light that I got on Amazon, 300 watts, works really well. Um... As soon as I got it, I could just really see growth on this. This wasn't here. I mean, there was just a, a bud on the top. Now, that's probably about mm, one and three quarters, two inches. And then up at the very top, you can see where it does its four-way branch thing. So it'll start growing uh, branches out here and then another shoot up. And this one that wasn't looking so good in the back back here, just started doing the same thing. Look at all that growth on the top shoot. And then the one above, which I don't know if I can reach, just started as well. So we'll see. I'm gonna let that one go big. I have room right here in the center of the living room. Maybe we'll have to move the TV once it gets too tall, put it in the center of the room with a light. And then it'll be a just a big giant tree that will never be able to come out of your house alive. Um, so yeah, I, I took a video of this large Portulacaria, Portulacaria afra. I'll get that edited up and get that uploaded. My daughter got me this false cypress for Christmas, which it looked good as soon as she gave it to me and I put it on a windowsill and I didn't check and it was bone dry and looking very, the whole thing was mad. So I'm going to have to get it in a pot that can drain because it's in a jar. So I don't want it to go from um, drought to soggy. And she got me this asparagus fern, which I think is really cool. And then I also, on that same tree, same jade, I got this one out of it. I'm probably going to take some of these cuttings and make a forest planting here. And this pot I made from out of concrete. It was the first pot I ever made. I painted it with the, um, like a fruit tree. Well, it's for any tree, but, um, it's, it's advertised as like a fruit tree. Um, sealant so it comes in a spray can it's black and you just spray it like over a, a large cutting on a tree so i figured it would be nice sealant for the concrete and certainly not gonna be bad for the tree inside so yeah just wanted to give that update and we'll see how long it takes to upload this hopefully it's fast make life a little better have a good night